Good afternoon, everyone. So someone in the GarageBand users group on Facebook asked if you could record or if you could pan different drums in the mix in GarageBand iOS. I foolishly assumed if you hit multi-track record that it would separate the cymbals and bass and kick drum, etc., etc. But if you hit edit on the track, you can see the MIDI notes. So, I got it in my head that, hey, maybe if I duplicate it for each drum and or cymbal, a cowbell, hand clap, etc., etc., you could edit out the ones that you don't need. And it appears that that will work. It's a little tedious, but it will work. So, here we are. We're going to make duplicates of the... Uh, recording that I made. It's fairly short, thankfully. Just duplicate. It's really a shame that it doesn't duplicate the thing you played as well. So you gotta copy and paste that as well into each of the duplicate tracks. So do that real quick. Sometimes things pop up that you're not really trying to do. See, like, I actually wanted to duplicate, not open the drum kit back up. So, duplicate, and do that. I believe I had five different instruments that I used in this track, or I should say five different drums and or cymbals. So, let's see, we got five now. And then just paste in the uh, MIDI, oh, mistake. Gotta do it at the beginning, dummy. And uh, paste, and paste, and you did it again, you numbskull. So make sure you don't do what I'm doing <laughs> on that account. You want it at the beginning of the track lined up with the rest. And then I'm just going to do it for one. I'm going to rename this to uh, Kick Drum to make it easy. I would suggest you do each one that you're going to do. You could have left SoCal and just added Kick Drum so you remember which drum kit you used. Although it's probably not that important, especially since you could probably change it after the fact so double click it hit edit and now you have to go manually in and delete but wait I wonder if the lasso tool will work let's see uh, did it work it doesn't show any way that it's oh it was okay let's try hitting delete Delete. Oh, it works. Woohoo! The lasso tool is your friend. It will make a tedious job a little less tedious. So go in and delete all the rest. It would be great if you could just like click on that and mute an instrument. Can you hear that, Apple? Let us mute instruments in the drum kit. So uh, lasso the rest of the uh, ones you don't want that aren't the kick drum. And delete them and voila sweet sweet success now do that four more times or as many drums and cymbals etc that you have and you're in business have a great day bye for now from the mad mohawk guegue karu onaki wahi don't forget to listen to us on apple music and spotify etc etc and please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you found this video useful. Bye-bye.